Adam's Film Reviews. We need to talk about AI. 2020. It's happening. If an alien spaceship was approaching Earth and it was 25 years away, we would be mobilized to prepare for that alien's arrival 25 years from now. But that's exactly the situation that we're in with artificial intelligence. We have no reason to believe that it will have goals that align with ours. There are people within the AI community who, who wish I would shut up. The idea of weaponized AI, I think, is terrifying. If Facebook or Google wanted to start an army... It could be the end of humanity. The first person to develop strong artificial intelligence will rule the world. Will AI change our lives for the better? That is the question that brings philosophers and scientists to blows. Marking your screen bucket first, we need to talk about AI as a New Zealand produced documentary by acclaimed filmmaker Leanne Pooley on the topic of artificial intelligence in the modern world. And I'm going to review it because I watched it. Framed as a debate between philosophers, scientists, filmmakers and more, we need to talk about AI as narrated by Keir Doola, famous as Dave in 2001 The Space Odyssey, who keeps mysteriously referring to his battle with Hal as if we're still living in the Kubrick film. But anyway, yes, we need to talk about AI is, in essence, a debate between two sides. Topics include the trolley problem, in which the question is raised that if an automated car had to choose between killing the driver or swerving into a theoretical playground of children, which would it choose? A strong emphasis is also placed on the concept of efficiency versus beneficial decisions made by artificial general intelligence, such as if we were to command an AI to create world peace, wouldn't the simplest solution be wiping out humanity? Also covered are the topics of artificial warfare, the, the theoretical singularity, and whether artificial intelligence might just surpass humanity. What I'm saying is, as glossy and as fancy as this documentary is, balanced it is not. While we do have a fairly even split between supporters and detractors of artificial intelligence, the way the film tells it does not project much confidence in the idea. One of the interviewees is James Cameron, whose appearance in the documentary is inevitably framed by the harrowing future war sequences from Terminator and Terminator 2. One sequence in particular throws balance out of the window by discussing the growing sex robot industry. Silicon replicas of beautiful, perfect people, which the film accompanies with terrifying drones and slow zooms into the dead, pleading eyes of the sets machines as one of the interviewees discusses the agony of installing sentience into a machine and not giving it the ability to say no. It's absolutely terrifying. Another sequence covers Baby X, a virtual baby that was built from the virtual brain up. This isn't just a Pixar creation, this has been built so when the baby smiles, it isn't just a simulation, it's a response to the tightening of the virtual muscles around the virtual mouth that have been signalled by the virtual brain having been injected by virtual cyber dopamine. The creator smiles like a proud father, but his discoveries are bookended by fears of humanity being wiped out and replaced by creations exactly like this. I understand the film's message, so this is something we need to be discussing, but the documentary itself just feels more like a warning. We see lots of references to evil machines, but where's the friendly robots? Where's the neutral computer systems that help and benefit us? Well, we might have Gertie from 2009's Moon. We see Hal. Well, we might have Red Dwarf's Crichton or Star Trek The Next Generation's Data. We have The Terminator or Tobar the Great. This film is available for purchase on iTunes, Amazon Prime and more. And while this is a worthy part of the conversation, this won't sell you on the idea of artificial intelligence. We may just be here to give birth to the child of this machine civilization. We don't have a plan and we don't realize it's necessary to have a plan. 